I've been in the field of addiction uh, work for the past 18 years. Uh, 30 years ago, I had my own uh, dependency uh, issues. And through a series of events, I was able to get into treatment and get into recovery. And after getting into recovery and treatment, I said, what do I want to do with the rest of my life? And I decided I wanted to help people. So I went to school and I got a degree in addict disorders and I've been blessed to build treatment centers, build intervention companies, and help 1,056 families in 15 years. Some of the signs that an individual exhibits in their addiction, uh, loss of productivity, isolation, anger, manipulating, I'll go tomorrow. No, it's not that bad. I don't have a problem. You have the problem. These are the tools of an addict that help perpetuate their addiction and keep the family in that paralyzed state. The job of the interventionist is really to take all those things into account and, and create the best plan for the success, for the patient to go to treatment that day, not tomorrow, not next week, today. If you asked a physician why they won't operate on their own loved ones, it's because they're too close to it. So to have the independent individual, the professional in the room, really helps that separation. The first is the assessment, uh, getting the history of the patient, the individual, uh, the specifics of, you know, is there mental health? Is there a dual diagnosis, mental health, substance abuse? Uh, what is their history? Have they had prior treatment? Uh, what are the dynamics in the history in the family? Is there a, a, a genetic piece to this, a history of, of alcoholism or chemical dependency within the dynamics of the family? Once I'm hired, then I uh, then start to prepare the family on what's to be said, where we're going to do it, how we're going to do it. And then I fly in the night before, and we do what's called a rehearsal meeting, an actual kind of insight as to what, what do I say, what do I not say, what if he walks out the door or she walks out the door? What if she won't go to treatment? So the family's prepared of plan A, plan B, plan C. The environment of intervention, when it's created properly, is one of love. That's the message. Not of anger, not of tough love, not of ultimatums, but of love. We're not up against your loved one. We're up against addiction. It could be an hour, it could be three hours. But by the end of this process, the dynamics will have changed. In the patient going to treatment, and the family being able to get the new tools in the beginning of the journey of recovery. What we learn in the intervention that day helps this family and the patient in a lifelong process. When I do an intervention, I am not up against the person, I am up against the addiction. We're not saying no to your loved one, we're saying no to the addiction that is paralyzing your family and killing your loved one. What are you willing to do to save your loved one's life?